Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another installment of What's in the Box. Not only is this another installment, guys, this is our 50th installment of What's in the Box. Yes, guys, this will be the 50th mystery box I have opened in this series. I'm going to tell you, I really didn't think this series would hit 50 episodes. I really thought I would have completely given up on the whole mystery box thing after... Loot Crate and Geek Fuel and so many others like left me just wanting, but then Horror Pack and Comic Bento came, and they've been, for the most part, really cool almost every month. Speaking of, our 50th What's in the Box is taking a look at this month's offering from Horror Pack. And you know what? I'm not even going to complain that, it, that it's in a plain white mailer this month. I just don't care. I have been curious about what's in here all month, because... Uh, as you guys have seen, if you've watched previous uh, if you've watched previous horror pack what's in the box videos, um, I show you the hints that horror pack drops on their Facebook page before I actually show each movie. The hints for this month have left me very curious, and a lot of them sound really freaking awesome. I can't wait to see what's in here, guys. The only way to find out is to reach in and see what we got this month. And we're going to do that right now. All right. It's just, uh, well, I feel one with a slip cover on it. Why don't we take a look at the one that's in the slip cover? Okay, let's see this. It is... Huh, I've never heard of this one. It's a movie called Dark Summer, uh, directed by Paul Soleil. You know what? I'm just going to uh, get rid of that slipcover, because I don't care about slipcovers. Slipcovers are a fucking waste. They really are. Um, I've never heard of this thing. This truly frightening modern ghost story follows Daniel Williamson, a 17-year-old boy under house arrest for cyber-stalking a classmate. Okay, that's... Wow, this is certainly a more recent film, isn't it? <laughs> With his mother away on business, obsessive Daniel flirts with the idea of reconnecting with the classmate. Yeah, because, you know, the shit that got you, that got you, you know, in your, in, in your current situation, totally worth doing more of. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, and by the way, the classmate's name is Mona. But fate has different ideas for him when Mona is driven to desperate measures and Daniel discovers that someone or something, is now stalking him. Dude, this sounds really cool. <laughs> it really does. I am actually kind of psyched for this one. I had never heard of it, but after reading about half of the write-up on the back, this sounds awesome. I cannot wait to see this thing, man. All right, guys, we started off strong. I'm just uh, picking which one of these I want to pull out next. What the hell? Let's go with the one on the end. It's... Oh, sweet! George A. Romero's Diary of the Dead. You know, I've I have wanted to watch this one for a long time. If for no other reason than because I'm a big fan of George... A, of George A. Romero's work. Granted, uh, out of his previous zombie outings, I wasn't a big fan of Day of Day of the Dead, but I believe that Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead are both masterpieces, and this sucker just sounds amazing. I, I actually, I, I actually have heard of Diary of the Dead. This thing, this thing, guys, is probably going to be a fun, fun watch. I cannot wait to fucking crack into it, man. Yes. guys so far we have batted a thousand i think it's time to see what the next one is huh again i just gotta pick which one of these i want to pull out next let's see the town that dreaded sundown is this the remake of the town that dreaded sundown it probably is yes it is because i have heard of this movie um i've i have not seen either version of the town that dreaded sundown i i i have heard great things about both about both the original film and this one and also that this one's kind of sort of a remake and technically a sequel at least that's what i've been told um it's it definitely sounds fascinating and i cannot wait to watch it however my my, my personal bias against remakes is kind of kicking in 
would probably have been better if we'd have gotten the original Town That Dreaded Sundown, but I guess that's just me being me. So, But still, totally cool. I actually am kind of psyched for this one, too. So guys, we have seen three movies in this in this horror pack, and they've all been really decent. The one that's left is obviously the horror pack exclusive for this month. They actually have promised an exclusive Blu-ray every single month. And I have no idea what the hell it is. It is a movie called Chopping Block. Okay. Five idiot kidnappers, one final girl, and one very angry slasher. That's the tagline at the top of the Blu-ray. That already sounds awesome. Wow. Um, I'm just I'm 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 just gonna comment on this, and I've noticed that I've noticed this with a whole lot of the uh, uh, with a with a whole lot of the horror pack like with the horror pack exclusive like limited like limited fucking edition things. The printing on the back is ridiculously cheap. It it seriously looks as if they just ran off a cover using a fucking using a fucking like inkjet printer. Really cheap, really shit inkjet printer. But what the hell? Why don't we take a look at this? Actually, no, I can't look into this because I can barely read what the fuck is on the back here. So I can totally read the blurbs, but I don't follow blurbs because blurbs are full of shit. So, I mean, just just simply based off of the tagline, this kind of sort of sounds like it's more like a horror a, a horror comedy, and I'm always down for those. So, at least that makes this sound really cool. Uh, probably if I squint fucking long enough, I might actually be able to read what the fuck is on the back. I see one character, at least one character, looks to be credited from looks to be credited from VHS. I can barely tell because again, the back is printed is printed for shit. I kind of hope that Horror Pack fix, fixes that in future months because we're so far up to the sixth exclusive Horror Pack Blu-ray. Let me just show you the big old six there. And this has and this has been a noticeable problem on most of them. Again, I'm hoping that it gets fixed soon, and I'm hoping for this movie to be really decent. Well, guys, you know what? For the fiftieth episode of What's in the Box, we got here one hell of a fantastic lineup of movies from horror from horror from horror pack i'm going to tell you that i had already heard of two of them i am really psyched for for one of them the other one would probably have been a hair better had it of had it had it not have been the remake but that's just more of a personal you know bias we've got one that at least from based on the tagline sounds interesting and that's all i can work with because of how because of how the thing was printed and then we have Dark Summer, which also sounds really cool. So, guys, that means that all told, we've got four amazing, badass movies this fucking month. All four of these things sound really cool. Well, three and a half, because, again, only working off the tagline on chopping, on chopping block there. I am psyched for these things, man. And odds are I'm going to cover most of these for reaction and review at some point. I just have to find a spot on the schedule for them. This honestly turned out to be a fantastic month because all four of these sound really cool. I, I'm just going to just say that the tagline has sold me on chopping block. What the fuck? <laughs> so anyway, um, four movies that sound really fascinating. And I cannot wait for next month's box. This is so cool. And if you want to get in on some of this awesome horror horror pack action, I'm going to provide a link down in down in the down in the description of this video. Please click on click on that link. And if I'm not mistaken, that link gives you now it gives you a discount on your first box. And if you sign up using that link, it gives me a discount on my next box, which then guarantees that we get more videos of me taking a look at these and guarantees more movies for reaction and review. That is always fucking awesome. Now, because this is a milestone episode of what's of what's in the box, I just want to take I want to take a moment because. Uh, I understand that this isn't my most popular YouTube series. Oh, hell no, it most certainly isn't. 
But uh, I will say that the people who do follow this series, who have been interested in my thoughts on on all of these different boxes, whether no whether no whether it be horror pack or comic bento or geek fuel or loot crate or nerd box or one up box or any of the others I've done. Um, I thank you guys for following for following the series. The very fact that people actually cared is the reason why this made it up to episode 50. Otherwise, I would probably have given up on this series a long time ago. So, so to all of you who've, who've been following this series, I thank you. Um, you you really are you really are the reason why this series is still going, and you're all fucking awesome. Now, I need to see if there's any room in my schedule to replace with. Uh, some of these, because uh, I'm really interested, especially in Chopping Block and in Diary of the Dead. So I'm going to go take a look at what I have scheduled and see if I can uh, squeeze any of these in. That sounds like it might be totally, totally fun. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this installment of What's in the Box. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care, and I will see you all in the near future. Peace.